Hello everyone, welcome to Tarot Tuesday and hope everybody's doing well today. Today I am going to use my Rose Quartz Pendulum. I already asked if he's clean and Lily, my fairy godfather, has been with me since I've been two years old, since I was two years old. So he loves doing reading, so hi Lily, he's happy. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our reading. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday weekend. And I already separated my piles. Okay, so we could see our four little piles here. And we'll let Lily pick the cards for our general reading for today. Okay, so we'll start with four piles. All right, Lily, are you ready? Okay, here we go. So any cards for me to read over here in pile number one for YouTube? No? Okay, how about pile number two? Yes. Okay, and pile number three? No. And pile number four? No. Okay. All right, so we'll take these away. All right. And we will get down to our last pile. I used the Angel Tarot deck card. I got these uh, cards off of, off of um, Etsy.com. The Angel Tarot deck cards. So here they are. They're gorgeous. Okay. And let's go ahead and break these up a little bit more. Okay. Do a pendulum with Lily. Okay, Lily, any cards for me to read in this pile for YouTube? No. And this card, this pile? Yes. And how about this pile? Yes, there's a card in here, okay. Let's go ahead and get down to these little bit of cards we have left. Thank you for your wonderful comments, by the way, on my Tarot Tuesday videos. I appreciate your support and all your wonderful comments. You all make my day whenever I see nice comments on my Tarot Tuesday videos. Makes me want to do some more readings for you guys, which I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. I really do. You have no idea. Just makes my day every time I see a nice comment. Especially when I feel like it's not all that and I say, oh, that was a nice comment. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate it very much. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this card over here. Is this the card to read for YouTube? No. Okay, that's a no. Is this a card to read for YouTube? No. And this one? No. This one? Yes. Okay, put that one up. This one? No. Okay, put the nose over here. That's a yes. We have three cards left. All right, guys, let's see which cards we're going to read for you. How about this one, Lily? Do I need to read this one for YouTube? Yes. Okay, this one? No. And this one? Yes. Okay that one aside. Thank you, Lily. 
He's saying, you're welcome, Donna Bob. In my mind, I do telepathy speaking with him as well. He calls me Donna Bob. I call him Lily Bob. Ha ha. <laughs> I call him Lily Bob just because it's fun. Okay, so card number one. <clears throat> yes. Card number two. Yes. And card number three. Yay, we got them all. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice cards, guys. Okay, so I've got come across this card quite a few times. This is the Three of Pentacles. So the Pentacles can refer to as money or health. So this is like financial stability and also maintaining health. So it could be referring to either one. I like this card. I like the work on this one, it's gorgeous. Okay, so that's stability. Um, this card, the Two of Swords, I'm not sure what that is. We'll look into that. The Two of Swords. I'm not too sure on that one. Um, I'm really not too sure. There's the moon, blindfolded, trusting intuition, maybe. Does that mean like to trust intuition with a blindfold? Trust intuition, building the financial stability, trust intuition. I'm not sure if that's all right, but let's find out. And this is the observer. The four of cups is observing, I think. Observing, intuition, observing, and financial or health stability. So let's see what the book says. takes practice guys takes practice the more i see these cards the more familiar i know the meeting all right so let's go to the pentacles the pentacles i like the pentacles okay the pseudo -pen pentacles is associated with the elements of earth representing prosperity health security and stability Pentacles deals with tangible worldly possessions. Money may be the first thing that comes to mind in pentacles, but the cards can also refer to health. Excuse me. So, I think of, I don't know, financial stability whenever I see that card. I don't know why. So, let's see what the... Three of Pentacles represents. Okay, the three of the three symbolizes successful teamwork. A group of different people has come together to achieve an early success. The three symbolizes successful teamwork. A group of different people has come together to achieve early success. Stability, teamwork. Stability and teamwork. That's what this one is. Stability and teamwork for success. Interesting. Okay, now let's see. The Two of Swords. Swords swords the suit of swords is associated with the elements of air representing intellect logic action and power aspects of swords can be used for good but can also be very powerful when used for evil the suit of swords is a tragic tale starting with the ex exploitation of intellect for good and ending with object fit and with abject failure and disaster when used for sincerely. So let's see what this two stands for. 
The two indicates a conflict with no clear resolution. It may also represent a challenging decision. So stability for success and a challenging decision. Hmm. So basically trust your intuition. That's what I'm thinking. Trust your intuition. on a challenging decision stability trust your intuition okay and let's see uh the four of cups four of cups i like this card too just the artwork is so beautiful on these cards okay get the cups the suit of cups is associated with the element of water, representing emotions, feelings, and relationships. Cups indicate what is happening in the heart rather than in the head. Okay, so the four represents is a sign of introspection and reevaluation. It often accompanies someone who is unmotivated or apathic and in need of adjustment so using your intuition stability with help from others and reevaluating everything that's what i'm picking up reevaluating everything using your intuition on the decisions that you're making as well as stability and success for others from others with help Wow, that's interesting. So it sounds like somebody is looking to get help from a lot of people to be successful. They're going to make uh, decisions, basically using their own judgment and clear intuition. And then they'll be re-evaluating re everything. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that gentle reading for today. If any of that, uh, those messages relate to you, please leave me a comment in, in the comment section and below. And once again, thank you so much for all your support and your wonderful comments. It really means a lot to me every time I see it. So yay, thank you guys. I appreciate your support on, on the Tarot Tuesdays. And thank you again for watching. Know that I love you and care for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. God bless you guys. Bye for now. I love you guys. God bless.